What are you doing? Why? Hey, MTC fans. Welcome back to the Lockout Men Podcast Show. Thank you. And if you appreciate what we do over here, why don't you hit that like button, subscribe button, and all those other buttons that show support for the channel. And in today's special edition of the MTC Spotlight, we're putting the spotlight on Luther Logistics. Do you guys remember seeing this video? Hold on. Yo. What happened? Well, what about the company? Stop this editing right quick to come in. I had to jump in on this one, man. Did you guys see how smooth Junior got that truck into that parking spot, even with that dude's door open? Did y'all see that? Did y'all see that? Hold up. Let's bring that back. That boy said, no, nah, never mind. Never mind. I'm about to show you why I'm Prime's super trainer. I'm about to show you right now, bro. I'm, I wouldn't be surprised if that dude's face just lit the freak up. It looks like that. Crowd screaming. DJ Chris is a bad motherfucker. That's that's not a good look, bruh. That's not a good look. Now, as I said before, and as I said in this uh in the call that I had with Luther, look, it's not always the company. It's the drivers. It's the bad drivers that put the company in a situation that put the company at a bad spotlight. It makes it, it, it's the drivers that make the company look bad, not the company. But of course, if you, you know, if you want to leave it to other truckers, they say that everybody at Swift is bad drivers. Not everybody at Swift is bad drivers though, bro. I'm just saying, but sometimes it's just the driver that put the company at a bad light. So with that said, with that said, I decided, you know, I decided to go and see what Luther Logistics is all about. Shout out to the subscriber that sent me the Asian My video. You know, Asian My, the trucker news, you know. Yeah. Anyway, but shout out to uh shout out to him for sending me that video. Um of course, the in the video it, it involved Super Trainer Junior Hernandez of Prime Inc. So if you guys are interested in Junior Hernand Junior Hernand Junior Honduras, keep messing that man's name up, boy. I've been following this guy for years, and I still haven't even got his name right. But anyway, go and check out Junior Honduras youtube as well as mother trucker news on youtube all right 
All right. So without further ado, let's get into the conversation with Luther Logistics. Hold on. Oh, hey, okay, okay. How are you today? Um, Good. Li listen, I, you know, I, I'm, I'm in a Facebook group, and I came across mm -hmm. uh, you guys' uh, posts, but there was another post mm -hmm. that was, that, that was kind of interesting, too. Uh, there's a video floating out there uh, showing one of you guys' drivers. Oh, yeah, drivers. We, we, know. <laughs> we, yeah. Yeah, we know all about that. <laughs> Yeah, showing showing one of you guys drivers in a bad light. My my quick question is, I, and I always say that it's never the company. It's always the drivers that show the company in a bad light. I mean, you guys as a company, I mean, you guys really, really don't act like, I mean, all your drivers don't act like that, right? No, no, it, you know, and as soon as we saw this video, man, we, I, I, I got a call about 10 minutes after it was put on face or on uh, YouTube. And, uh, I mean, I took it to our ops team and our COO and, and we, you know, we took a look at it and the, uh, you know, we, he, he does not in any way, shape or form represent what, what Luther stands for and, and the, uh, you know, our, our values and, and who we are. And, you know, once, once we saw this video, it was a very short discussion to decide, you know, what we want to do moving forward with this driver. Um, and, uh, you know, it was, uh, it was kind of sad, but you know, it was, it, it was rough that, that, that you know, what, what upsets me is, is, you know, I, I actually drove for Luther before I got into the office and, and, uh, you know, I, I, I absolutely loved it here. It's been by far the best experience I've had with any employer in or out of the industry. And it, I got really like uh, personally upset because it was, you know, all the, that's the first impression a lot of people are going to be getting. Exactly. And, you know, it, it, it's a hard pill to swallow, but you know, we, we saw it, we, we talked about it. We decided what we want to do. We brought the driver in and, and, you know, the, the decision was made and, you know, it's, I'm not at liberty to say what exactly we did, but you probably have a pretty good idea of what we did. Right. right. Um, well, but, uh, no, he does. He, you know, if you run into one of our drivers out there, you're definitely going to get some positive feedback. And, and our drivers are, are pretty upset about that too. I was getting texts from our drivers all night on Friday night about, you know, how, how upset they are that, you know, this is what that, you know, how this looks and how, how they, or how they're upset about you know by by what that looks like. So anyway, I, I uh, you know I digress. So. As I as I said before, you know it, it's it and it goes with you know other companies as well like Swift, CRST, mm -hmm. CR England, you know, and the rest of them that that you know that has a bad reputation. I mean, I never heard mm -hmm. I never heard of you guys until now. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So I guess that's a good right. thing, you know. But yeah. but a lot of you know a lot of companies, especially with Swift, you know, I always I always say because I'm from a Facebook group, and I, I always mm -hmm. say, look, it's it's not the company itself; it's the drivers, you know. Right. I I I just feel that. But um, but listen, you know, it, it's mm -hmm. it, it it is what it is. It's unfortunate, but you guys have to, you guys have to save face and save your reputation by doing what you guys have to do. So that's quite understandable. Um, how much experience do you guys require over there? Uh, we like to see at least six months experience to, to get started here. Um, and that's, you know, that's, uh, it can be local or over the road. In fact, I, I look at, you know, a lot of companies go, Oh, we want six months over the road experience. It's like, man, have you ever driven locally? Cause you man, six, eight, 10 docks a day on ramps, off ramps, stop signs, intersections, roundabouts, tight turns. I mean, it's, it's hard driving. So we'd like to see six months experience. It can be over the road or local. Um, 
but uh yeah so that's that's what we're looking at okay i i definitely need to know a few uh few drivers that has you know about six months uh or less well not less but more mm -hmm. <laughs> so definitely <Yeah. laughs> um pre-employment uh drug screening uh, what what do you guys look for hair follicles or urine or both no we just we just do urine we're All not right. we're not all right, mileage. Criminals out of what's the uh, what's the paper mile there? Uh, that depends on your experience and your driving record. Um, so basically, I mean, if you are fresh out of school, and we don't hire fresh out of school, but if we start our pay scale, they're just the base. If you're fresh out of school. Yeah, we lost each other there, bro. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what happened there. Was, no, I, I was that's, talking. That's on, I was like, no, 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 no. That's that's on my part. That that's on my part. I'm I'm driving through Indiana right now, and uh, and the and the yeah, the connection is yeah. kind of shitty. Uh, again, you you <laughs> were saying you were saying about the paper mouth. So what what's by the uh, by experience and everything? Mm -hmm. You continue with that. Yeah, so the, the, the pay per miles based on your experience and your record, like I, I don't know how much you caught, but like if you're fresh out of school, no experience, but you had a clean record, you'd start at like 54. Okay. But, you know, once you're at like 20 years, you're getting like about 60 cents a mile, and that's just your base. Then we have a, a quarterly performance bonus that adds on up to an additional two cents per mile, and that's based on you, uh, are you on time? You know, are you getting, are you getting to your deliveries on time? And we're not going to push you, we're not going to give you, you know, Hey, we need you, you know, 900 miles away at, in, in three hours. You know, we, we, we plan and coordinate it out that you have a realistic time frame to make it. Um, okay. And are you, uh, are you getting, we expect a minimum of 2,500 miles a week out of our drivers. So are you getting that amount? Um, are we getting calls from motorists? Are we getting complaints from shippers or receivers? You know, are you behaving the way this guy in this video did, you know, because if you're if you're going to behave that way, you know, you're yeah, you, not going to get a bonus. <laughs> yeah, you're not going to get a bonus, and and nine right. times out of ten, you know, you guys don't need don't need guys like that. All right, so right, so for for guys with with that amount of experience, I got six, or no, I'm sorry, mm -hmm. I got damn, I got seven years out here, bro. Uh, yeah, I got how seven, many? seven, seven years. So how much would I come in at? What what's your driving record look like? What, if uh, I told driving you MBR, record what pretty look yeah. Like? Driving record pretty good. Uh, okay. Driving record pretty good. Uh, let me see. DAC report should be pretty good. So yeah, let's let's okay. just say hypothetically, because I haven't checked it recently. Mm -hmm. But uh, let's just say hypothetically, <laughs> uh, my my uh, I know well. I know my MVR is excellent, so I don't have to worry about that. But uh, let's just mm -hmm. say, you know, the DAC report is is pretty good. Where, where would I? Mm -hmm. where, you, you don't even have to be specific. You could just ballpark it. I mean, probably you would land you somewhere around like 57. Um, okay. Just, you know, ballpark. If, if, if you had a clean record, seven years experience, you know, you get, we get, you know, good PSP, good MVR, your verifications of employment, you know, what we get back from, when we inquire to previous employers about your, your behavior and how you present yourself comes back good. You know, we probably start you around 57 ish. Okay. Okay. What about, uh, what about y'all equipment and what they, and what are they governing that? Uh, we have our, our over the road fleet is with the exception of a couple of trucks, um, is all Pete five seventy nines. Uh, we put the, we get the Cummins engines in them. We get the, we get the, um, the ISX 15s in them, uh, you know, cause we don't want to deal with that pack our garbage. Right. Um, and we're governed at 75 and we have manuals and automatics. Um, so, you know, if you're, if you're a manual guy, we got 13 speeds here for you. You know, if you got the auto restriction, we got an auto, we can put you in. I mean, right now we're, we're actually pretty tight on trucks and we're actually, you know, it's funny is that this is the, the image that a lot of people are going to get on our, about our company, but I, I, I'm generally having the opposite problem of a lot of companies. It's it's not that I can't find drivers to put in trucks. It's that I don't have a, enough trucks to put everybody into a truck. <laughs> so, 
that's a good thing. That's that's a good thing to have. That shows it's a really it's a good problem to have for sure. Yeah, yeah. It, it shows that it shows that this is one of the good. You're you're one of the good companies. You know, I mean, yeah. if you have that kind of problem, uh, what about dri yeah. what about driver cameras inward or outward? We have outward only, unless for whatever reason we need to put you on some kind of probation. Of you know, we're getting. You know, you've had a, a few incidences within a time frame, or we're getting multiple complaints about your driving habits. Mm -hmm. You know, we'll, we'll, we're not looking to ruin anybody's lives and just be like, all right, you're done. You know, unless we have a situation like, you know, this where we had to part ways. Right. But uh, we, we have an inward facing camera in case we need to put someone on, you know, hey, we need to, we need to keep an eye on what's going on with you and see if there's really more or less to see if there's any training opportunities that present themselves, you know, not so much to attack anybody, but otherwise we just have outward facing cameras. Okay. Um, yeah. Okay. That's yeah. And another thing too, is what's really funny is, is a, a truck, a, a company our size is usually experiencing about 75% turnover per year of drivers. We're like, we're like 20. And a lot of that is us kind of the guys that aren't, aren't meeting the expectations. We're kind of saying, Hey, you know what, this, you know, best of luck to you, but it's, you know, it's not working out for us. And so a lot of our turnover is actually us making guys go find other places to go because it's not working for us. And, right. You know, our, when, when drivers get here, they, they generally don't leave. They, people like it here. I loved driving for them. You know, it's, it was the best, you know, driving experience I've ever had. All right, all right. What about uh, what the what's the amenities in 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 the trucks? So it'll come with a uh, a fridge and it comes with an inverter. Um, we do not have APUs, and I'll explain why. So the APUs, without fail, as soon as that warranty expired, it was just maintenance, 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 Ooh. maintenance. Okay. And once we broke the math out after like a by the time a year or so had elapsed after that warranty had expired, we had put just as much into maintaining the unit as the thing cost. So what we did instead is we put in a bunk heater and we've programmed the ECU to allow the engine to idle if, you, if the temperature outside is above 70 or below 32. So if you know, it's in the extreme heat or the extreme cold, you can idle the engine and get the heat or the AC off of the truck. Um, but in those, you know, Pretty, in those more mild temperatures, you know, you got the bunk heater um, to kind of make sure that you're not freezing to death and, and it should be warm enough that, you know, or cool enough that you, you shouldn't need a whole lot of AC. So some, some guys, some truckers, especially in my network, that's sort of like a deal breaker. <laughs> but APU. Yeah, it, it is what it is, though. Uh, yeah. do, do you guys, uh, do you guys have a uh, lease opportunities there or no? Not often. Um, we, we, we will offer a lease purchase to a driver that is interested if they are currently employed with us and they're in good standing. Um, but we don't generally offer lease purchase to, um, you know, people outside of the company. And that's just a matter of that, you know, we've done it before and it, it, it we've been burned by it. And so in order to, you know, mitigate loss and, and, uh, and, you know, financial liability in that sense, we, we had to kind of can put some constraints on that. Okay. What about forced dispatch? Now I'm from, now listen, I'm, I'm from Ohio. All right. So I definitely don't like to mess with the Northeast, <laughs> but do you guys, do you guys have forced dispatch? And if y'all do go up in the Northeast, do you guys pay extra? To go up in the northeast well we don't go into the northeast awesome. the furthest east you're gonna go is is you might cut through pennsylvania like the the bottom you know the southwest corner of pennsylvania to get somewhere but we, we're not going to dispatch you anywhere in pennsylvania or nor northeast of that additionally we generally don't go to chicago we may have to pick up something into you know into Chicago, or we might have to send you up through Chicago to get into Wisconsin or something. Sometimes, mm -hmm. but we generally avoid Chicago oh. in the summer. We will we'll go out west. Um, you know, we'll pick up Salt Lake City, Reno, you know, stuff like that. But in the winter, um, unless a driver requests it, we don't typically dispatch out west. We we keep okay. it on the flat side. You know, Cheyenne, Denver. Um, 
and as far as force dispatch, dispatch is concerned, we're not going to make you go on a dispatch, but you know, realistically understanding that if this we have a dispatch for you right. and you turn it down, yeah, you might have to wait. You might end up sitting while we find something else for right, you. Right, right. You know, this, so this it, is trucking, and we, we all we have keep, to. Uh, we all yeah. have to be. You know, we all had to. We all had to get used to it. So, uh, yeah, yeah. We try and keep work out in front of you guys, so you guys can keep moving. Once you're on the road and you're heading to your delivery, we're trying to look for the next thing for you. You know, so if you get to your delivery and we say, "Hey, this is what you got next," you go, "I don't want to do that." You know, dispatch might be like, "Oh, well, you know, let's." we'd like you to do this, but we're not going to make you do it. We're not going to fire you if you don't do it. But you, like I said, you might end up ha end up kind of having to wait for something else because what we had next, you know, you didn't want to take it. Now, you know what? Thank you. I, because I like dispatches like that. I, I rather, I rather work with a dispatcher. That's why I'm on the load when I'm getting to the load. And when mm -hmm. I deliver, I would like to know what's my next load instead of okay. I'm here. I'm I'm empty. Okay, yeah. well we're we're now looking for your next load, and I'm like, yeah, that's that's going to be like an extra what thirty minutes, forty minutes, forty five minutes, or or, so, or yeah, yeah. And so that's miles you're not getting. That's time that that truck isn't productive. You know, right. and that's, that's the thing is when I'm talking to drivers and looking to you know bring someone on board. I'm looking for a win-win, you know, we, we, we want, and we're not going to be the perfect company for everybody. We know that, but we, we do the best we can to mitigate as much of the, you know, negative possibilities as possible. And, you know, trucks break down. It's a mechanical thing it, things break, you know, so you might have a breakdown. I'm not going to sit here and try and blow some sunshine up your butt about how, Oh, our trucks are immaculate and perfect and blah, blah. Well, it, we keep them in the best shape we can keep them, but it's a truck, you know, and we, we, our ops team is fantastic. We got, we got a guy that's dedicated to just, just loads. His, his job is, is just managing freight. Then we have a guy that his job is basically just working with, uh, with brokers. And then we have a driver manager that our drivers are going to interface through that. That's your point of contact. You're not going to be calling and talking to this one dispatcher this one time and another dispatcher another time it's you know the it's a it's a group it's a team and they work together and they they put everything basically through one point of contact you know unless it's like after hours and you call the after hours phone they kind of share who might have that but um you know and that part of that too is making sure that you're getting the most miles that you can get and that that you can legally handle and and in order to do that we we have to have some foresight and say okay he's going to Dallas what what do we have in Dallas? Do we have customers there? No. Okay, let's broker something. And I'm sure we have customers in Dallas, but exactly. okay. So who can we broker? What's on the load board? Okay, he can do this. This goes here, and you know they're they're always keeping it out in front of you as best they can. And that's not to guarantee that there's always every single time going to be okay. You're there. Well, this is your next thing. There might be some delay sometimes where it's like, hey, we've been looking for something, and it's just not popping up. So we're working on it. So they they really do. They keep it out in front of you as best they can. And I I appreciate I appreciate that. Listen, man, I only have a few more questions, and I'll 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 get up out your hair. Um, do you guys offer like you know let, let's say a driver had his CDLs for you know a couple of years, say like three four years, mm -hmm. but within that three years he haven't been driving as much. Do you guys offer a refresher course for that driver? We don't offer a refresher course per se. Um, we we're kind of playing with the idea of putting together a training program for like new drivers fresh out of school. And we do have some policies and procedures in place where, you know, I'd imagine if, if it was a good candidate and we really wanted them here and, you know, we, we, we felt that they were worth the investment. We would probably put them with, um, one of our, you know, more senior drivers that is willing to do some training just to do that refresher for a day or two, you know, just make sure like, you know, are you, can, can you shift or, you, you know, do you remember how to back up? Um, but we generally don't have that in place as a regular thing, but I'm sure, like I said, with the right candidate, it's something we would probably, you know, be more than willing to say, you know, this guy, he's, he's good. He's got a good record. He's got experience. He's got a good attitude. He's professional you know he's going to fit in well with the team let's let's see what we can do to make it work all right 
What about a pet and rider policy and what's the youngest for the rider policy? So the rider policy, the youngest, there is no minimum age for a rider policy. However, you will have to sign a um, release of liability waiver um, the, if it's a minor. Um, and the, that form needs to be signed by a parent or guardian. Um, if that minor is so young that they need to be in a kid's seat, you know, a booster or, a, or, a, or an infant seat or something like that, that driver is responsible to make sure that they are in the proper, you know, restraint system. Um, if it's an adult, it's just a, you know, driver signs it, the passenger signs it, and then, you know, I sign it and file it. Um, but like I said, if it's a minor, no minimum age, but you gotta, you have to be responsible for that person. And if it's going to interfere with your work, then there's going to be a conversation to be had about that. All right. All right. First company that ever I have found. I know some drivers will like that. Uh, do you guys? Yeah, well, my last company, my last company had a minimum age of 12 and I got three kids and they're all, I mean, my youngest just turned eight today. Actually, it's her birthday. Oh, so happy birthday. You know, I couldn't bring them, but yeah, but uh, you know, when I drove here, I would, they would all take turns coming with me in the truck and we all had a great time. And those are amazing memories for those kids to have, you know? So I don't, I think it's, it's worth at least having the option. Yeah, yeah, that's that's a shocker. <laughs> uh, do you yeah. guys uh, accept? Do you guys accept SAP drivers from the S? From from the S? I am so tongue tied, right? Substance now. abuse professional drivers. Yeah, no, I know what you're saying. Yes, um, thank you. We actually don't. Yeah, we don't accept SAP drivers. Um, we won't hire anyone with a uh, sexual felony. We won't hire anybody with a violent felony. If we, we will hire a felon, but you know, we have to see that they have had a, you know, X amount of time of, you know, not repeating the behaviors that got them of the felony to begin with. Right. You know, we believe in second chances, but there's also a risk factor with certain types of criminality that, you know, this is a family company. We don't, we don't need anybody that has had a, sexual offense on their record around here because there's we have kids around here sometimes you know all right so. that's that's what's up all right my last question i guess is there any uh now listen to the way i say it now is there a sign on incentive i don't say bonuses no more because yeah do you guys offer a sign on incentive generally speaking well i mean when you say incentive it sounds like you're just kind of splitting hairs personally, <laughs> that's the way, but, um, well no we, see here's you know, like here's I, why i say it here's why i say it uh -huh. because my definition of a sign on bonus is when you sign on the dotted line you get the bonus that's sign on mm -hmm. bonus but me being in trucking for as long as i have been you know, I, I know that the bonus is kind of broken up in parts and you probably might have to go through some, you know, some situations to get the bonus. So instead of just saying a bonus, I just call an incentive because if you're going to offer a five, let's say, let's say a two thousand dollar sign on bonus and it's paid out over 24 months then that's not a sign-on bonus to me. You know what I'm saying? Right. So that's why I just say incentive. You know, you right. just... Um, we we don't offer any kind of sign-on incentive. We we used to, um, and it, I think it was, I think it was $2,000 and it paid out over five months or something like that. But we don't, we don't do that anymore just simply because, like I said, I have, I, I have more drivers that want to come here then i have trucks to put them in i i don't have a really a need to incentivize drivers exactly. to come in okay. um we do we do offer a you know it's kind of a slap in the face too for for our drivers that are already here you know to say like well thanks for being here but we're going to give this guy a little bit of a you know an extra kick just because he signed on during this time period mm -hmm. um we do however offer a referral bonus so if you come on board and you say, Hey, I got this buddy, he drives for, or he drives for this company. He's been driving for this long. And I talk to him and he's a good option. And we get him on board. Um, you, I think the referral bonus is a thousand dollars and it's paid out over four months. All right, man, this been an awesome 
conversation a lot <laughs> a lot to unpack right here the only the only yeah. thing you know it may not be good for me because where, where i'm at right now as far as as, as far as uh you know what i'm getting paid and all like that may not work for me but i do have a you know a good network of drivers that are you know that's you know that might be interested in coming with you guys so i'll definitely pass the information along and uh let yeah. them know that yeah I, I i talked to the guy you know and 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 tell them what you guys did in conjunction of that video so thank you for the opportunity, yeah. man. I really do appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, and so. thank, and and I just want to say, you know, I I appreciate you giving me a call, and and you know, it's it was ever since that video dropped on Friday, and all day today, all through the weekend, it's been phone calls and emails, and and I I have I have taken the the time to try to answer as many calls and emails as I can, and return calls, and and you know because it, I. People, are, it's a concern. People see that, and it causes concern, just justly so, rightfully so, mm -hmm. you know. But I would like, I like to at least have the conversation and say, hey, you know what, this is what we're all about. That that's not how we represent. That's not how we. That's not our values, and the way he represented himself does not represent who we are. Um, like I said, man, you could call, you could run into one of our drivers, and you could say, hey, I saw your guys' video, and you could talk to this driver, and you'd probably get a totally different impression. You know, so I, I want to just say hey, I, I appreciate you taking the time to reach out to me Thank and you. really the general public that has taken the time to reach out to us and let us know because we can't do anything about that if we don't know about it. You know, so it, 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 gave, it was a good it was a great service to us that Asian Mai put that video up there so that we could see what happened front, you know, start to back and and look at it objectively and and handle that situation. And we. I don't want drivers out there that are acting that way. I will definitely get you out. I will definitely get you out front and center and, you know, let mm -hmm. my, you know, let my side of the people know that, yeah, this company is, is on the up and up. It's on the up and up. Like I said, yeah. if it's, you know, because of where I'm at, as far as what I make and everything, you know, like I said before, it may not work out for me, but it yeah. would definitely work out for other people to see that you guys is in a good light and you're one of the good yeah. companies because you just mentioned like sign, like what I talked about the sign on bonus companies to me mm -hmm. that don't offer a sign on bonus. It's the companies that you might want to look a little bit closer to, because if you yeah. get with a company that have to do a 5,000, 10,000, $20,000 sign on bonus, you might want to look at their, you know, they're you're going to be dealing rate. with some bullshit. There's a yeah. reason. Yeah, there's a reason why they're having to do that because you're going to be dealing with some bullshit. Exactly. You and, might want to look you know, at their turnover and, rate. So, yeah. But bro, yeah, and it's you know, and oh, go ahead, mm -hmm. go ahead. No, I was just going to say, like, yeah, I mean, we and we might not be able to pay the sixty-five, seventy cent per mile that you know the big guys can do. But the other thing that kind of goes along with that is that there's a there's a different energy to this place you know if you call me and say hey I, it's truck number such and such i'm gonna be like i don't i don't know what that means who are you and you know you give me a name like oh hey man how's it going you know we know you we know who you are we take the time to understand our drivers and what's important to them and you know we're not just going to put you in a truck and treat you like you're just a, a cog in a machine you know we that's not how we are so there's the that's the offset we might not be able to pay those big guy the big carrier you know, rates, but the, the advantage there is, man, your, your quality of life and, and, and your job satisfaction comes with the other things other than money, you know, the corporate culture and the, and the people that you work with. And that's what we're all about. All right, man. Luther Logistics. Y'all located out of uh, Michigan, right? Correct. Yeah. Coopersville. So just about 15 miles uh, west of, uh, of Grand Rapids. All right, man. Well, hey, thank you for your time, bro. Thank you very much. Uh, I would definitely... Let me get one more time really quick. What was your YouTube name? Lockout Man? Yeah, Lockout Man. L-O-C-K-O-U-T-M-E-N. E-N. Okay. I'm going to look you up. Just I, so I, I appreciate just so I it. Just uh, look me up. Uh, when you go to the main page, scroll down a little bit, and you'll see what is called MTC. 
that is make the call 2020 or 2022 well let me see 20 2020 and 2022 you you'll you'll see the playlist all through all throughout my channel so i would definitely uh i would definitely get this up and and shoot it out there for you man i really do appreciate the i really do appreciate the time bro yeah and i appreciate the call and i again i appreciate you bringing the, the video to our attention so that we can you know take a look at things and make sure that our drivers are behaving in the way that we expect them to exactly. you know, as adults really it's that's all we're asking be an adult <laughs> so. that's what's up that's what's yeah. up keeping the yeah. door keeping the door open and and not and 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 potentially tearing up a tearing up the truck it's not a good look right <laughs> no not, not no. it's not a good no. look so all right brother man well thank you very much i really do appreciate it yeah. and uh i would definitely i would definitely get the information out there i'll probably work on this tonight and get it out to my get it out to my network okay cool i'll keep an eye out for it, man i appreciate your call awesome thank you sir Thank you. Luther, logistics. What do you guys think of that call? I I like that. He was honest, straight to the point. And, and, and it's a company that don't have no restrictions on riders. So ladies, ladies, because it's a lot of ladies in the, in the she trucking trucking group is always asking this question. You know, I got kids as young as, you know, five, six, seven. I got kids. I don't have, you know, y'all explain that y'all don't have no help and y'all want to bring y'all kids what you want to road. Here's a company that might fulfill your qualifications right here. Luther Logistics out of Michigan. All right. Give them a call. Let them know Lockout Men sent you. Everybody else, this is also a company that's not, mm, that's not doing uh, sign-on incentives. So if you one of them drivers that's looking for a sign-on bonus, then this may not be the company for you, all right? He already said that he has, he, he's probably filled to capacity. He needs more trucks. Because there's more drivers is interested in coming on. So, again, Luther Logistics. What do you guys think of the call? Now, look, if any of you guys drive for Luther, Luther, if any of you guys drive for Luther Logistics, come in and let us know how they're treating you. Are they a good company? Or are they a bad company? So far, I don't think they're bad at all. I just think it's the drivers. Okay? But... Any in any case, let us know how they're treating you. Hopefully, you're not that driver. Okay. Now, you know what? I'm going to leave it open. All right. Because, you know, we're we're not biased. We're open. We're going to leave it open for that particular driver to, you know, reach out to the Lockout Man Podcast Show, 216-600-2090. And Let's have a conversation. Why do you feel the way you did in that particular situation? Now, of course, we don't know what actually happened post video, but but if you would like to come on and kind of like tell your your thought process of what you was thinking at the time, you're welcome to come on and we'll chop it up. All right, that's going to do it for this special edition of the MTC Company Spotlight. Again, if you guys are interested in Luther Logistics, their information will be in the description below. All right, give them a call, see what's up. All right, that's going to do it. I do appreciate you guys listening and stay tuned for the next MTC Spotlight coming soon crowd
screaming. Jay Craze is a bad motherfucker. What?